this is a mega structure, like an artificial mega structure. Now, until recently, we haven't seen dust being pushed back behind the object. And so uh, one had to conclude that perhaps we are seeing a giant object. A mysterious visitor from deep space is heading our way, and 3i Atlas is getting too close for comfort. For months, scientists have been scratching their heads, trying to figure out what it is. Now, thanks to new data from Avi Loeb and his team, we have some answers. But be warned, these answers are not what you'd expect. The data is so bizarre, so unexpected, that it's forcing us to confront a terrifying possibility. This isn't just another comet or asteroid. This is something else entirely, something that could change the course of human history forever. The object that defies explanation. The initial excitement of this discovery quickly gave way to a sense of unease. As more data came in, the mystery only deepened. The object's brightness was fluctuating in a way that was difficult to explain. It was also exhibiting a slight but unmistakable acceleration, as if it was being pushed by some unseen force. This is where Avi Loeb, the chairman of Harvard's astronomy department, entered the picture. Loeb had already made a name for himself by suggesting that Oumuamua might be an alien probe. Now, with 3i Atlas, he was about to double down on that controversial claim. He and his team began to analyze the new data, and what they found would send a chill down the spine of even the most hardened skeptic. The thing that nobody tells you is that this isn't just about one strange object. It's about a pattern, a series of clues that point to something far more significant. The initial observations were just the tip of the iceberg. What lay beneath was a discovery so profound, it would challenge our very understanding of the universe. As the data continued to pour in, a picture began to emerge, a picture that was both fascinating and terrifying. The Hubble Space Telescope, our eye in the sky, captured images of three eye atlas that were unlike anything seen before. Comets, as we know them, are essentially dirty snowballs. As they approach the sun, the ice on their surface turns to gas, creating a glowing cloud called a coma and a long streaming tail. But three eye atlas was different, the Hubble images showed a sharp, defined edge with a brightness that didn't fade gradually, as one would expect from a comet. It was as if the light was coming from within the object itself, like a light bulb in the darkness of space. This was the first major red flag, the first piece of evidence that suggested we were dealing with something far more complex than a simple chunk of rock and ice. But the real shocker came when Loeb and his team started to analyze the object's energy output. What they found was so astounding, it was almost unbelievable. 3 I Atlas was generating an incredible amount of energy, equivalent to 10 nuclear power plants running at full capacity. That's about 10 gigawatts of continuous power. To put that into perspective, that's more energy than is produced by a small country. And this energy output remained constant as the object traveled through our solar system, something that simply shouldn't happen with a natural object. Comets get their energy from the sun. The closer they get, the more active they become. But 3i Atlas was different. It was as if it had its own internal power source, a power source that was unlike anything we had ever seen before. The implications of this discovery were staggering. If it wasn't a natural object, then what was it? The answer, as Loeb would soon suggest, was as terrifying as it was revolutionary. But the energy was just the beginning. The next clue was even more bizarre. The unnatural orbit. The strangeness of 3i Atlas didn't end with its internal power source. If anything, the next piece of the puzzle was even more perplexing. As astronomers continued to track the object's path, they noticed something that defied all statistical probability. Its trajectory was not random. It seemed to be on a very specific, very deliberate course, one that would take it on a grand tour of our inner solar system. It was as if the object was a cosmic tourist, making a series of close flybys of some of the most interesting planets in our celestial neighborhood. The numbers were so precise, so improbable, that they seemed to border on the impossible. The object was on a course that would take it past four planets, Earth, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, 
a cosmic billiard shot of epic proportions. The odds of such a trajectory occurring by chance were calculated to be less than 0.005%. To put it another way, if you were to randomly fire a trillion objects into our solar system from interstellar space, only a handful would follow such a precise path. It was as if the object was being guided, as if it had a destination in mind. This was the second major piece of evidence that suggested 3i Atlas was not a natural object. Natural objects don't follow such carefully planned routes. They are at the mercy of gravity, their paths dictated by the pull of the sun and the planets. But 3i Atlas seemed to be playing by a different set of rules. The thing that nobody tells you is that this isn't just about a strange trajectory. It's about the implications of that trajectory. If the path was deliberate, then who, or what, was doing the deliberating? This was the question that was on everyone's mind, the question that was keeping astronomers up at night. The idea of an alien probe, once a fringe theory, was now being seriously considered by some of the most respected minds in the field. The evidence was simply too compelling to ignore. The internal power source, the impossible trajectory, it all pointed to the same conclusion. We were not alone. But the most chilling part of the trajectory was yet to come. As Loeb and his team projected the object's path into the future, they discovered something that was both brilliant and terrifying. On December 19, 2025, 3i Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth. But there's a catch. On that day, the object will be on the opposite side of the sun from us. This means that our Earth-based telescopes will be completely blind. We won't be able to see it, to study it, to get a closer look. It will be a one-way observation. The object will be able to observe us, but we won't be able to observe it. This was the master stroke, the final piece of the puzzle that seemed to confirm the object's artificial nature. It was as if it was deliberately hiding from us, observing us from the shadows, a silent, unseen observer in our own backyard. But what about the object itself? What was it made of? The answer would be even more shocking. An unnatural chemical signature. The mystery of 3i Atlas deepened even further when astronomers began to analyze its chemical composition. Using the powerful Farkes Observatory, they were able to get a good look at the cloud of gas that surrounded the object. What they found was so unexpected, so bizarre, that it sent a new wave of shock and confusion through the scientific community. The cloud was composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is not uncommon in comets. It's one of the many gases that are released as a comet's ice is heated by the sun. But there was a crucial ingredient missing. There was no water vapor. This was a major anomaly. For a comet, water is the main event. It's the primary component of the ice that makes up the comet's nucleus. When a comet gets close to the sun, the water ice turns to vapor, creating the beautiful flowing tail that we are all familiar with. But 3i Atlas had no water vapor. It was a ghost, a comet without a soul. This was a chemical signature that had never been seen before. It was as if the object was from a part of the universe where water didn't exist, a place with a completely different set of chemical rules. Or, as some were beginning to suspect, it was not a natural object at all. The thing that nobody tells you is that this isn't just about a missing molecule. It's about what that missing molecule implies. The absence of water vapor was another strong piece of evidence that pointed to the object's artificial nature. A natural comet, formed in the icy depths of interstellar space, should be rich in water. The fact that 3i Atlas had none was a clear indication that it was something else, something that had been built, not born. It was as if we were looking at the exhaust fumes of an alien engine, a chemical signature that was a dead giveaway of its artificial origins. The discovery of the carbon dioxide cloud also helped to solve another piece of the puzzle, the object's size. Initially, based on its brightness, NASA scientists had estimated that 3i Atlas was about 20 kilometers across, roughly the size of Manhattan. But if the object was generating its own light, as Loeb's team had suggested, then it could be much smaller. The carbon dioxide cloud, 
which was being illuminated by the object's internal light source, was what was creating the illusion of a much larger object. Loeb's team calculated that the object itself could be as small as 100 meters across, about the size of a football field. This smaller size made much more sense for an artificial probe. A smaller object would be more maneuverable, more efficient, and easier to propel through the vast emptiness of space. But the most terrifying discovery of all was yet to come. A discovery that would make us question our own reality. The unthinkable conclusion. The evidence was all there, laid out for the world to see. The internal power source, the impossible trajectory, the unnatural chemical signature, the small size. It all pointed to one, inescapable conclusion. 3i Atlas was not a natural object. It was an artifact of an extraterrestrial civilization, a probe sent from a distant star to explore our solar system. This was the terrifying truth that Avi Loeb had been hinting at all along, the truth that many in the scientific community were still struggling to accept. You see, the idea of an alien probe is not something that is easily accepted. It goes against everything we have been taught to believe. It challenges our most fundamental assumptions about our place in the universe. But the evidence was simply too strong to ignore. The odds of a natural object exhibiting all of these strange characteristics were so infinitesimally small as to be practically zero. The only logical explanation was that we were dealing with something that was not of this world, but not all things are what they seem. Many people are crazy about the idea of aliens, but the thing nobody tells you is that this isn't just about finding life on other planets. It's about what that life might be like. Are they friendly? Are they hostile? Are they simply curious observers? These were the questions that were now on everyone's mind, the questions that were keeping people up at night. The arrival of 3i Atlas was no longer just a scientific curiosity. It was a potential threat, a harbinger of a new and uncertain future. The thing is, we may never know for sure what 3i Atlas is. When it makes its closest approach to Earth, it will be hidden from our view, a silent ghost in the night. But the evidence that has been gathered so far is enough to make even the most skeptical among us pause and wonder. Are we really alone in the universe? Or are we just a small part of a much larger, much more complex cosmic story? The answer, it seems, is hanging in the balance waiting to be revealed. And as we look up at the night sky, we can no longer be sure that we are looking at just stars. We may be looking at the eyes of a silent observer, a visitor from a distant world, a messenger from the great unknown. The truth is we may be on the verge of the most important event in human history. The arrival of 3i Atlas could be the moment that we finally realize that we are not alone in the universe. It could be the moment that we are forced to confront our own insignificance, our own vulnerability, in the face of a much older, much more advanced civilization. Or it could be nothing at all. A strange, unexplained anomaly that will eventually fade into the darkness of space, leaving us with more questions than answers. Is 3i Atlas a messenger of peace or a harbinger of our doom? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending mysteries.